In this problem, we are going to solve using mesh analysis, and here one concept will be called that is uh, used that is will be super mesh. So, what is super mesh? Super mesh is the technique whenever there are two mesh and one current source is between the two mesh, then we consider that as a super mesh. So, what happens in super mesh? So, let me just give a example here. If a circuit is something like this. Okay, so, if ideally there will be mesh 1 and there will be mesh 2 like this. So, as there is a current source here, so while writing the KBL, we need to remove that and we need to write the super mesh and in the super mesh similarly two current will be there, but the equation will be written for the super mesh, okay, the big mesh. So, in this process, in this approach, we are going to solve this uh, uh, particular problem. So, let us see what the problem is saying. So, problem calculate the power supplied by the voltage source using mesh analysis. So, how much power is supplied by voltage source into if I find what is the current value, I will get the power. So, for later denote the nodes, uh, mesh. So, I will take this as mesh 1, I will take this as mesh 2 and this will be my mesh 3. So, in this case, so here you can see these two mesh are shared by one current source. So, I will make a super mesh here. And again, this two mesh is current uh, shared by current source, so one super mesh will be here. So, for super mesh, what you have to do? We have to just remove the current sources. So, if I remove the current sources and draw the circuit, this is how the circuit will look like. So, here one more resistance is there. So, this part I am removing, I am not drawing that. Again, here the voltage source is there and it will be connected here, voltage source is 10 volt. Okay. So, here you can see one resistance, this resistance I am not drawing again because if this is open circuit, this is open circuit, then this resistance is not considered in the circuit. So, resistance value is given as 1, 1 and this uh, uh, voltage is 10. Okay. One more resistance is here also. So, this is also one more resistance 1. Now, you know the current I1 is here, current I2 is here and current I3 is flowing here. So, how to write the equation for super mesh? Let us start from the voltage source. So, in voltage source, my current is going from in uh, from positive to negative. So, I have to write what? I have to write minus 10. So, minus 10, then the current comes here. So, voltage drop across this. So, it will be minus what much? Here, uh, resistance is 1 and the current is I2 here. So, you can consider here the current is I2. So, voltage drop is only I2. Then minus here. So, this resistance current is minus I2 minus I2 again. Okay. Then minus this resistance. So, this resistance current flowing is I1. So, minus I1 and this resistance current is flowing I1. So, minus I1 is equals to 0. So, that implies I can write that I1 plus I2 that is equals to 5 and it is equation number 1 just solving this. So, next what about I 1 and I 2? Uh, how to find that? So, we will write that for 1 ampere source for 1 ampere source. So, see here 1 ampere source is here. Okay. So, in 1 ampere source the I 2 current is flowing in this direction and I 1 current is flowing in this direction. So, I can write here I 1 minus I 2 is equals to the value of the current is 1. So, I can write like this. Okay. Actually, to avoid confusion, so what you do is, so see here the current direction is in this direction. Okay, The I 2 direction is here. So, we will write I 2 minus 1, uh, I 2 minus I 1 is equals to 1 because in the current direction 1 ampere is there. So, we will take 1, 1 ampere like this. Okay, so, you write I 2 minus I 1 equals to 1 or I 1 minus I 2 equals to 1 that you will get the same thing. Okay, this is for what? This is for equation, I will write this is equation number 2. So, now for the 2 ampere source, so for the 2 ampere source I will write. So, in the 2 ampere source what is happening here? So, you can see this is my I 3 and this is my I 2. So, I will write here I 3 minus I 2 is equals to how much is equals to 2. So, this is my equation number 3. Now, I have 3 equation 1, 2 and 3. So, I can solve that in calculator directly. So, if I solve that, so first is I 1 coefficient 1, 
then I2 is 1, I3 is 0, then the constant value is uh, 5. Okay. Next in second equation, I1 value is minus 1, I2 value is 1, I3 value is 0 and the coefficient is 1. Next here I1 is 0, I2 is minus 1 and your I3 is 1, coefficient value is 2. So, if I calculate this, so what I am get, getting? So, here I am getting my I1 is equals to 2, then I2 is equals to 3 and my I3 is equals to 5. So, if I am, okay, so I3 value is coming as 5. Now, if I am getting this current values as this, so that means whatever the current notation I have taken while nodal analysis, it is correct. Now, what is the total power here? So, total power is equals to 10 into 5 that is equals to 50 watt. So, 50 watt is my answer or the total power. Okay, so, this is how it can be solved.